Hello YouTube, uh, this is take two as the first take went corrupt on the card and I couldn't copy it to the PC so I've, I've taken this apart once. Um, basically what I have here is a 80 watt LED floodlight. Um, diagnosis, it buzzes and hums. So, what I've uh, done already is uh, put a flex on it on the bottom, can't see that, and when I plug it in, You can hear it buzzing and humming. So, well, first of all, we'll check out the um, driver unit. As it's making a funny noise, it might have gone pop. And, uh, stick that on there. Stick it on there, 36.7 volts. The unit actually says, just pick up the tripod a little bit, um, 80 watt, 240 volts, DC output 29 to 36 volts at 2400 milliamps. So, it's uh, fairly close to that. Uh, I would have thought that it would be the driver unit more than the LED chip that would go. So I stripped all this down and uh, I'm, I've left all the screws out so I can just take this out as I go. So, as with all LED lights, I seem to have an outer frame, a big silicon gasket which I haven't got back on, a glass plate, it has an inner diffuser. And it also has a tiny little cap around the LED chip itself. So I'm going to take that off as well. I'll bring the meter around this side this time. And I thought I'll test at the chip just to make sure that there's a voltage at the chip. 36.7, so that appears fine. Um, so we know. Well, that it does appear fine. So my next uh, call is to obviously isolate this. And um, probably order another chip. Um, but I thought, <laughs> as this is a retake, um, I'll just check one more thing. Um, we know what's positive, what's negative. And we'll just Drag them out of there. It's negative. That's positive. And uh, I thought, let's try this on a driver unit. So what I'm going to do now is just attach a small driver unit and um, make sure that the chip can't be driven from a DC source, i.e. this is putting out a voltage, but not putting out any current. So let's try that now, before I order a new chip. Right, so I've got my untrustworthy um, to use the DC power supply, and I've got my very trusty lithium ion phosphate pack here. And uh, we've got it set at 20 volts and 2 amp hours, or 2 amp current. And uh, basically, uh, and stationary, this puts out whatever voltage that you, you have going in. So there's always a voltage. So I'm going to start this up at 20 volts and see if anything happens. Nothing. Okay. So let's see if I've raised the voltage. Thirty volts, nothing. Forty volts, nothing. Okay, let's go back down to thirty. Ah, oh, that do. Thirty. Three volts. Okay. 
raise the current on just a little bit. Nothing's being drawn. No current, not even a little bit. Thirty three volts, no amps. Mm. Nothing at all. So I think that pretty much says that the uh, chip has gone. So I'm going to order another chip and uh, obviously I'll come back once I have uh, a new chip. Um, I did do some calculations earlier. Uh, 2400 milliamps at 36 volts is 86 watts. Um, I could probably underdrive a 100 watt LED chip with this. But I'm going to go and check out the prices of the 100 watt ones. I know I can get a um, 80 watt chip for £4.59 so I might just go with that and uh, see how it goes. So as you can see I've tested using mains, I tested the driver, uh, I've got no other chip to test the driver pushes current through um, but I've also tried the DC, DC converter and that's shown that nothing works either. So thank you very much for watching, hopefully this video won't corrupt and um, I will see you in my next video. Cheers.